Good morning, Olympic View Elementary School. It is very honored to speak to you about the 1968 Games. My daughter, Ms. Jackaway, your counselor, asked me to talk a little bit to you about the 1968 Olympics. I was on two Olympic teams and also a 1964 Olympic team in Tokyo, Japan. And the 68 was in, in Mexico City. Uh, I live in Atlanta, Georgia. My name is Dr. Melvin Pender. I was born in Atlanta. I was raised here until I was 17 years old, until I went into the military at age 17. I spent 21 years in the military because I couldn't afford to go to college back then. So I figured the military was the best way out for me. So my grandfather used to talk to me all the time about using the system, not fighting the system, and, and listening, and, and listen to people, and, and, and read, and do my math, and be smart in school, because if I do that, I can be successful in life. So in the military, I was very successful. You know, I was an enlisted man. As a, well, I was an officer, too, for, for the last 10 years of my uh, military service. I went to officer candidate school, and I got commissioned to be an officer. And during that time, I accomplished so much uh, in the military by, by listening, using the system and not fighting the system and, and listening. I went, like, as I said before, I was on two Olympic teams. I set world records in the 40 yard, 50 yard, 60 yard, 70 yard, 100 meters, 100 yards, and 4 by 100 meter relay at a very late age. Most you know, kids start running track, you know, when at track clubs when they're young. But I didn't run until I was 25. And at age 25, I. I knew that something was good about me running, and I knew that something was going to come be, be good about that because I used the running to be the person I am today. It gave me confidence in myself. I went to college, got a college degree from Adelphi University in Long Island, New York, and a doctor's degree from Adelphi University in Long Island, New York. I was stationed at West Point Military Academy, I was the first black track coach at West Point Military Academy. And and I retired uh, after uh, 21 years in the military from West Point and moved back to Atlanta. You know, me being the, me being the person I am, I, I had to listen to my grandfather because I have a lot of respect for him because I know sitting here talking to you, I wouldn't be the person that I am today if I had not listened to him. Telling me to be all I can be. Telling me that I set goals for myself. He said, if you set goals and be the best, you're not going to have any problems surviving in America. As you know, back in the days that I grew up and living in the South, we went to segregated schools. We didn't have a bus. Our school was like really bad, a uh, long building with no running water. We had an outdoor toilet. Um, it, it was horrible. I, I, you know, it's a thing, but we had great teachers. I put it this way. We had great teachers. The teachers taught us so much about life, more than what we was supposed to be than teaching us, but she taught us more about life and about history. I learned a lot about black history because that wasn't teaching. The books they gave us didn't have that in the books about black history. There's so many things about black people, inventions and musicians and actors. It's so much things that have been invented by black people that you probably don't even know. But we're part of this country. We're all people, no matter what color we are, what race we are, what religion we are. God made us to be one people, no matter what color, what religion. We need to love one another. We all bleed one color that's red. I have done so much in my life, in my 81 years of my life, working with young people, trying to help them be productive in life and to be successful in life because I know how hard it was for me. And I know Ms. Jockaway is your counselor. She's not always going to give you the right answer to every question you asked her. She's going to do her best to make everything right for you if you listen to her. When she asked me to do this video for you, you know, I said, well, you know, I've done many videos, but, you know, doing a video and sending it to her, I don't know how good it's going to be, but I'm hoping this will be a great video for you to learn something about life and about me and also how great it was to be an Olympian growing up in the South. When I grew up, it was like the country. In other words, didn't have much. You know, we didn't even have running water in the house. We had a well in the backyard. Our bathroom was outside. We had what you call an outhouse. So I grew up very, very poor, but look at me now. I'm retired, have a beautiful wife. I got Miss Jackaway and we have other children, but we are doing so well and we're so happy and we are Christians. I hope you be successful. I hope you listen to uh, Miss Jackaway and your teachers, listen to your parents, 
Because, you know, if it wasn't for your parents, you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't have food on, your, on the table at night when you go home. You wouldn't have shoes on your feet that you wear every day. And you wouldn't have the clothes that you wear every day if you didn't have a mother and a father. So love your mother and your father. And listen to your mother and your father. Keep your room clean. I know some of you don't keep your room clean. Make sure you keep your room clean and take the garbage out when you need to take the garbage out. I know that's, I know you probably hate to do that, but, you know, I used to hate to do that too. But when my mom asked me to do something, I better do it. That was back in the day. But this is the new, new era now. But you have to be able to listen. Listen, please. Remember that word. You know, my grandfather used to say, listen, he would say. He would sing his words when he talked to me. And all my buddies used to laugh at him because the way he talked. But I'm the person I am today because I listen. I have so much to tell you, but I can't tell you it all at one time. I have so much to tell you. I work with a lot of kids, and I help kids every day to be successful and productive in life. If you listen to Ms. Ms. Jackaway and your teachers and, and people that's trying to teach you certain things, you will be successful too. So God bless you. And good luck to you, and, and I hope you'll be very successful and make all A's in school. God bless you.